Hi, it's Tommy, aka Nana, um, coming at you from beautiful Cape Cod. Um, I wanted to come on and do a quick video to talk about um, foods that are good to keep on hand in emergencies that are shelf stable, or foods that are good to travel with, or just items like how do you stay bright and, and travel, or what is a good um, uh, food to like keep in your car as an emergency meal, or to keep in your cupboard, or to uh, keep in your briefcase, or you know, to travel with, that kind of thing. So um, I'm Tommy, I am a 64 year old woman. I've been doing Brightline Eating since January of 2020. I um, have Hashimoto's disease, I have um, uh, osteoporosis, and I am nine on the susceptibility scale. I um, uh, started um, doing Brightline Eating when I weighed 249 pounds and I have maintained um, 100 pound weight loss. Um, I've been in maintenance since September of 2021. So it was roughly um, a little over a year and a half that it took for me to get to maintenance. Um, so that's a little bit of background about me. And um, some of the things I'm gonna say today may be a little redundant because I noticed I, I watched some of the other videos I did about travel, but I'm gonna add in some new things and some of the things I'm gonna repeat, be redundant about, I think are worth repeating. Um, and that is, I, I hear a lot of people talk about um, you know, oh, just, you know, prepackaged things in plastic bags. And um, I'm really concerned about the environment, as I hope a lot of you are. And so I recently found these, um, these compostable, uh, resealable bags, which are actually pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure I found these at Thrive Market. Um, and, but anyway, so they are, um, compostable, compostic is the name of the company. And, um, these are supposedly sandwich size. So this is, uh, the bag and, um, and I guess I'm showing it to you backwards, which I don't know if that makes it easier for you to reach. Um, keep your food and world fresh. So, uh, I guess you cut this part off and then dispose of it and the rest of it is compostable. Um, say, uh, use me, reuse me, home compost me, I'll break down quicker than, the, than an orange peel. So, um, so these, if you're going to be using, if you want to use, uh, you know, throwaway bags, this would be, I would always recommend as much as possible to use, you know, glass or metal and in a pinch plastic that's reusable. Um, but these are a great find. Um, the other thing was years ago, one of my um, stepdaughters made these um, bags, which work well for some things and um, they're washable. Um, she made them with lining. So, um, you know, those are, um, and then uh, I purchased these. I think they're, it's Care Kitchen and um, they're, I have them in all different sizes. This one seems to work. Some of them, the seal doesn't work, but they're pretty easy. You could actually put them in the dishwasher, but you can wash them out by hand and let them air dry. And so again, this is a reusable um, plastic container. There's a lot of them. I strongly recommend that people invest in those kinds of things rather than um, throw things away. So um, I, I actually, there, there was a taste test. <laughs> I did a really short video with a taste test on these um, Snacks Full of Life um, Rhythm Organic Beet Chips. Um, again, they just have um, beets, a, a little bit of oil, um, salt, and some, uh, um, what do you call it, um, uh, herbs in them. And um, I, again, I think these are ideal for travel. Um, uh, because I just count them as a, as a vegetable and I've like <laughs> looked for them in the store when they were discounted because I don't know, they were discontinuing them or something because they're fairly expensive, but they're so convenient and they're tasty. I, I just, uh, this is like 
one and 1.4 ounces and I would just count this as my vegetable and leave it as a day at the day drink some water with it and I'm usually fine um, in, in a pinch as well to these um, dehydrated apples again you know takes up less space um, it's not something I'd suggest anybody does all the time but if you wanted to keep something in your car these two things um, you know would be good things that you could keep in your car and um, have as an emergency meal um, of course uh, there's also um, these are um, uh, um, roasted um, mung beans so roasted beans are a good protein source again you could uh, measure these out and keep these in your car um, these are called crunchsters and they're mung beans. Um, so I know they sell edamame and um, chickpeas often. You can find those. So again, something measure, had measure portion, keep that in your car or someplace. Um, nuts are also, they don't keep as well for a long period of time, but you could keep packages of nuts um, or nuts are good for traveling. Um, as well to uh, you know measuring them out um, these are um, called flackers they're um, a flaxseed cracker it's just flaxseed some herbs and apple cider vinegar so you you would just measure this out and count it the way that you would seeds and um, so like two ounces would be a protein serving and um, it's just something different small convenient easy to again you could keep this in your car as well too um, this is another flavor this is um, rosemary and this is just the um, sea salt variety um, and these are pretty easy to find um, good to keep on hand um, I mentioned recently uh, actually I mentioned it on a polo um, madras lentils are really great to keep on hand um, Amadras lentils would count as um, uh, one protein, one fat, one condiment, and uh, six ounces of vegetable, I believe. And um, and so, um, uh, you know, you can eat this cold, and I know people who have, so you could keep this on hand um, and eat it. Um, and then, you know... If you had this and depending on what you um, how many vegetables you had this this is uh, about eight ounces of vegetable because you know it says 8.5 but you know some of it's gonna stick to the package so um, again this is shelf stable so you could keep this in your car and it, it's much better if you warm it up this is rice broccoli and this is rice cauliflower um, so those are good also to have on hand um, you know you come home you're just exhausted from some emergency or something and you pop this in the microwave and you have your meal I've done that many times and I it's really great to have on hand um, somebody else mentioned and I agree um, Amy's soups you have to read the labels uh, the this is the lentil vegetable so this would count as, um, I'm pretty sure I would count this as um, six ounces of vegetable, uh, one protein, um, one condiment, and one fat. Um, so there's lentil vegetable, um, uh, black bean chili, I would count the same way and um, the Southwest vegetable as well too. Those are the three that I found that I think are BLE compliant that you could eat. And again, this is great if you know, you're not feeling that great and you just want a quick um, meal, This um, having this on hand is great. Um, the other one is um, Archer's um, grass-fed beef sticks. Um, so, um, and I, as I said before, you count these as you would, um, like a cheese as far as a protein or, 
you basically half serving because it's dried. Again, it's not something that I suggest you eat every day, but it's real convenient to travel with. These are, um, they come in a half, um, half ounce servings. So if this were going to be my only um, protein, then I would eat four of these small ones. Or I usually bring um, some cheese sticks when I'm traveling. Um, but also like, you know, last minute you're running out the door um, to do something that you hadn't planned and that doesn't mean you can eat the lunch that you had um, and you can grab this and eat it in the car. Um, so I always have at least one package of these on hand um, for those kinds of things, of, you know, for a quick lunch. Um, so those are the main things. Of course, you know, there's always canned beans and, you know, people can do... Uh, canned fish, canned sardines, um, uh, but these are things that it kind of gives you a variety. Um, so those are the ideas that I have at this point. Um, hopefully it's helpful. If you have other ideas, I would love for you to put it in the comments. And um, if you um, like what I had, please uh, push the like button, subscribe. Um, share it with other people, let them know about it. Um, I'm just here trying to share information about my journey on Bright Line Eating and hopefully help to make your Bright Line Eating journey a little bit easier. So if there are things you'd like me to make a video about, go ahead, put it in the comments and I will um, try to do that. Anyway, have a very bright day.